I want to specifically address the painful issues happening in the nations right now. I want to speak to leaders that any hen that eats up her cheeks will not have a future. The present leaders can create a future and a dynamic future for the nation where you are. Two things you are going to be remembered for in life. Number one, the problems you create now that you are in leadership. And number two, the problems you solve. You are going to be remembered long after you are gone for these two things and these two things only. Nobody is going to remember too many things about you after you are gone. But these two things they will always remember. The problems you create for that nation or the problems you solve for that nation. There are two issues every leader, present leader must understand. As you seek to bring peace upon the nation. Number one, that there is the present. You are the present. Any position you occupy today, whether as a president or senators or governors or councillors, any position you occupy today, you are the present. And you have only one function that you will be remembered for, to create a future. A future that the teeming youths of the nation will inherit from you and enjoy. That's, that's, that's the two issues. So we'll talk about the issue of the present and the issue of the future. If the present leaders handle national issues properly, they will be remembered for problems they have solved and they will be remembered for creating a future. After all, the youths that are being killed are that future we have been talking about. We tell them they are the future leaders, but we need to invest into them. We need to create an atmosphere for them to become truly the future leaders. The nation you preside over, anywhere in the world, it can be great. But how you handle national issues today, how you handle them will determine what the future of that nation will be. I say again, if the present leadership, you are like the mother hen, if you eat up the chicks, then there will be no future. If we allow the youths to be killed, to be maimed, then there's no future. You can be remembered for the problems you solve. Number one, what are the issues that the youths are making demand of? What are the issues? What are the rational things among the issues? And wise leadership we want to sit down, not ignore the demands, but, but sit down and come out with solution for the demand. And there will be peace. And once there's peace in the land, investors will not run away. Once there's peace in the land, the economy will boom again once there's peace in the land. And I'm praying for the present leaders, whatever position you occupy. You could be a minister, you could be a senator, you could be a congressman, or you in the National Assembly or State Assembly or in the council, whichever level you occupy today, you contribute by quality decisions you make, you contribute to the future. Of that nation. It's time we start investing to the youths. 
We can pick them from each local government, set up a team to sit down with them and look at how we can attack the issues, handle the issues being raised and bring peace in the nation and vibrantly build an economy that they will meet and your children's children will meet and the nation will be proud of you for it. I'm praying for grace that we do not kill, eat up our chicken so that we are not denied the future. Protect the youths of today. Invest into the youths of today. Build the youths of today. And the nation will be great tomorrow. And God bless you. My prayer is grace and wisdom. Grace and wisdom. And you will be an outstanding leader. God bless you.